I'm at the zoo and I'm visiting with some bears. They're Kodiak bears. They're young Kodiak bears. They have a lot of growing to do. They'll get to be quite a size, about 10 feet high or so. Uh, these are only about 18 months old. They've got a lot of growing to do, but they're cute to look at, but they are dangerous. And I tell you that because I have a book that I want you uh, to read along with me if you'd like. It's called Bears In, Bears Out, and it's a, it's a nice story about bears. But I want to tell you again that bears are very dangerous. So if you should ever encounter bears, for example, on a trip to a, one of our national parks where there are many bears, give them a wide berth because bears are wild animals and they can be very dangerous. So as cute as the bears may look to you and as nice as you may feel about your toy, teddy bear, don't ever get close to bears. And uh, I think you'll enjoy this story with that caution and that understanding, okay? It's called Bears In, Bears Out. From their favorite tree in Yellowstone Park, Mother Bear and her cubs watched a car that had stopped nearby. From the car, Father and Mother and Alec and Pam watched a moose in the distance. Father got out and took a picture of the moose. He put his camera on a rock while he packed away his special lens. Mother Bear turned to investigate a noise behind her. And while she looked away, the little bears scampered down the hill and climbed in the back of the car. Mother and Alec and Pam didn't see the little bears, but Mother Bear did, and she ran after them. Father saw her coming, and he dashed to the car. That was close, he panted as they drove off. Mother Bear loped after them, but the car with her cubs speeded out of sight. She went back to the tree and paced around and around. The little bears were having their first ride. They huddled close to the floor behind the luggage. After a bit, they stretched up and looked out the windows. They stuck their noses against the glass. It was fun riding. People in passing cars were amazed to see bears riding in a car with the family. When the family stopped for a quick look at Castle Geyser, almost everyone stared at their car. But the family was so busy looking at the scene, they didn't realize it. Pam folded the blanket into its case and tossed it behind the luggage. It hit both little bears on the head. They were frightened and huddled together on the floor. But as the car moved along the road again, the bears peeked out as before. Finally, the car stopped at Old Faithful. Father pushed the switches which closed all the windows and the family got out. The little bears started out too. Bang! The first one hit his nose against the closed window. He bounced back, bumping the other little bear and both sprawled to the floor of the car. It wasn't so much fun. They tried to find a way out, but there was none. They were caught in the car. So the little bears hid behind the luggage again. The family joined the crowd to see Old Faithful shoot in the air. Father opened the camera case to take a picture. <gasps> it was empty. They all hurried back to search the car. On the way, Father remembered he had left the camera on the rock when he ran from the bear. So they drove back over the road for miles, looking for the river where they had seen the moose. The windows were open again, and the little bears looked out too. The family finally recognized the bend in the river where the moose had been. Father stopped the car. There was the rock and the camera, and from the car, the little bears saw their favorite tree. Father got out. The bears jumped out the rear window without being seen and tumbled down the bank of the road. Father picked up the camera. We were lucky to find it, he said, and he got into the car. Hey, Dad, said Alec, I hope we'll see some more bears so we can take their pictures. I wish we'd see some cubs, said Pam as they drove away. The car disappeared. The little bears scrambled up the hill to their favorite tree. And back in the woods, Mother Bear heard them coming. She rushed out and met them with a big bear hug. Bears in, bears out. Why don't you try looking for that in the library, and then you can look at the pictures or read the story yourself and enjoy it. And lots of other books for you to enjoy there. Once again, remember, bears kind of look cute, and teddy bears are nice to hug as toys when we go to bed, but the real thing, no, sir, give them wide berth, all right? Promise me? Thank you.